Good morning from a very, very wet and windy Bury St Edmunds. Yeah. If you saw the last vlog, you'd have seen that we came over here from Lowestoft and yeah. arrived last night. We've found a car park that does have designated motorhome bays, which is fantastic. I'm sorry if you can hear a lot of noise. There's a bo bottle bank next to us and oh. everyone seems to have wanted to fetch the bottles here this morning. Oh, drunks are bringing the empty bottles, aren't they? <laughs> Putting them in the bottle bank rather than the bin at home. Chico is not moving. He's not having this weather. It is windy and it is wet. He doesn't do wet because a little puddle to us looks like a reservoir to him. So we're going to put him back in van yeah. now, aren't we? He's not happy and I'm not having him not being happy. So I'm going to put him back in the nice warm van and we'll probably take him out later. Well, we're supposed to stop this happening so we'll take him yeah. back out. I do say that there's a water tap here near the toilet, so if there is, I'm going to tap water up later. Yeah, you'll have to investigate that, won't we? It's always handy. We never told you when we went and filled it with fuel the other day at um, Great Yarmouth, <laughs> was it? I put, um... I put 60 pounds worth of diesel in at the Shell garage, and Shell's normally all right, and I went to the lady in the kiosk, and I just get some water from the motor home. She said, oh, I don't know, I don't think so. So, no ways, no, <laughs> so. Right, well, the toilet block's here. Did you say it was on the toilet block itself? I don't know, it just said water. So. I don't think that all oh, the toilets are open. Yeah, it probably means water to wash your hands when you've done it. Oh, oh there it is, yes. Right, get Fantastic, water, does it work? So. Yep. So we'll get me a little watering can in a bit and fill it up. Yeah, so this parking place we've got is quite good actually. It's quite central because there's not a lot of things down here that cater for motorhomes. So I'm really pleased to have found that. You'll find it on search for sites as well if anyone's interested. It's one pound overnight. And three pound odd all day, isn't it? Yeah, so. so we found it, we found the market, and it's exactly as I thought it would be. Really nice stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, what a lovely yeah, town, what a clean town as well, it's gorgeous. Again, with old building meeting new, really, really nice. Look at that one there. Right. I've never seen a stall like that before, have you? Wow, look at that light there. Right. Eee, some smart stuff in there, isn't there? Trombone? Is it a trombone? I think so, a trombone. <laughs> Saxophone. Play your instruments while you've got some lighting going on in your uh, living room. Yeah, this seems to be mixed as well. It's not just food. There's all sorts here. So this is on on a Wednesday and a Saturday. So if you ever want to come to Bury St Edmunds, I'm just going to call it Bury because I can't say all that all the time. Yeah, Wednesdays and Saturdays are your market days. So, cheeky fact, guess who comes from here? Someone really, really famous. Ed Sheeran. And Griff Reese Jones comes from here as well, apparently. Or they have a live round here, or... I know Ed Sheeran's got a massive thing round here, anyway. Massive what? Is it, well, he bought, it, he bought a house and he bought the house next to it. Now he's got an Ed Sheeran land or something, a town. Mm -hmm. All the houses round him, he bought them for family, I think. I don't know. If you know what, what, what Ed Sheeran did buy, put it in the comments below. But look at this, there's so much to look at. There's markets everywhere. It's just a shame the rain's here, isn't it? Well, you can't blame the rain, you just get on with it, don't you? It's always going to rain in the UK. Oh, look, Mark, cakes. They look nice, don't they? Every single cake you can think of. A young lady. I'm in public, I can film where I want. So I don't know if you know, I don't know if you heard that, but we're just taking a picture of them cakes to show you all, and he's telling me no, no pictures, no, not allowed to film, not allowed to film but mm, out in public, yeah. I'm afraid, so it's I can't film. You don't know the UK law, isn't it? Yeah. About filming in, in photo, photography in public, well, unfortunately. I'd have said to him, sorry, I'm in public, I can film where I want. Must have something to hide, eh? Right, so we've walked to one end at Swan Street. Yeah, yeah. Charity shops are good ladies, very good, but a bit more expensive than what they would normally hey, look be. At this here. I didn't expect to see that in Bury St Edmunds. Oh yeah, Mark. What's that like stuff are you wearing? Did you want a Christmas present? What is it? <laughs> what is it? It's like someone's been giving him a thing. What do they call them? When they... A wedgie? Yeah, yeah. No, that's a front wedgie. <laughs> So we found the poshest weather spoons we have ever seen. Mm -hmm. Look at that behind us. Yeah, That's yeah. weather spoons. That's yeah, alright, it's fancy. Nice, isn't it? Let's go and have a look what it's like inside then, shall we? Might have brightened up then for when we come out. It's supposed to stop raining about two o'clock. The rain is dampening the day, isn't it? It's yeah. cold as well. Definitely the poshest weather spoons we've been in. It's called the Corn Exchange and it was built on the site of the old shambles. Now the shambles is the name for Old Market um, and it's it's stunning. It's and it costs 
seven grand, get that. To build? To build, seven Cheap grand. Cheap labour that is, isn't it? All those years ago, man, you wouldn't have been earning much back then, would you? What was I going to say? You, you come upstairs, don't you? It's the only Weatherspoons we've been to. You come upstairs to go to the bar. You normally come upstairs to the toilet, don't you? You have to walk 10 miles to get to a toilet in Weatherspoons, but no. It's oh. a cracking one here, really, really nice. And it's right in the centre of Bury St Edmunds, so you can't miss it. It's huge. In fact, we're quite impressed with what we're seeing up to press, aren't oh, we? Oh, I like it here. I like it here. There's so much there's so much history. I mean, we're, we're going to stop another day, aren't we? Yeah, Definitely going to yeah. stop another day. Because it's raining today, so we're going to try and do a bit more of what we can do. We're, we're a bit sort of stuck with the weather, aren't we? Yeah, moment. yeah. So we'll have a, finish his drinks and we'll take you back outside in the stormy rain. So we've found another part of Bury St Edmunds that's really interesting. It's called the Ark. Now the Ark is it's a massive complex of shops basically and I do believe that on top of some of them the shops as you can see up there they've got places where you can stay so you haven't got far to go shopping have you? You stop over can you? Yeah you can stop over. Now the place behind me here that's called the Apex and they've we've just been having a look at this sign behind us here and they've got people like Martin Kemp on. Um, yeah, it's like a, like a hall isn't it? Like entertainment Paul Young. Venue. Yeah so it's like an entertainment like a theatre basically mm. isn't it? Where you come and watch your gigs. So yeah and I tell you what it looks really nice. Look at this for a prize. Mark, it looks like some at Space Age, doesn't it, Mark? It's just taken over, and it? Uh, Not open yet. It was Debenhams, went it? Yeah. It's now closed. So. so as you can see, look at that for a Primark. Looks like that's some out of a spaceship, doesn't it? Like a sci-fi film. Plenty of shops, plenty of food places. It's, it's, all, it's all your normal high street shops, isn't it? Yeah, it's all your branded things in here, basically. Yeah. So any independent ones are all in the main town. up on the looking around the town earlier on didn't we? we came back because the rain was just persisting it down all the time so and apparently it's supposed to be a better day tomorrow so we came back just chilled out this afternoon Mark's done some editing for tomorrow <laughs> and he wanted a Chinese and what First we've time ever but we've looked around at the local Chinesers and they're all over seven pound each dish. We don't pay that. It's just far, and we haven't been getting right good ones, have we? No. So a bit disheartened, and I, I didn't want to spend any money as getting something. As, I mean, as much as I like it, we've got to draw a line somewhere. Yeah, you've so. got to be careful with your pennies. We went in Weatherspoon today, but we didn't eat, did we? No. We just got a drink. So. Yeah. So I've decided to cook tonight, and he's, he's like, "Are you sure you want? It? Yeah, of course I want to cook." So I'm making myself some chicken with some sweet and sour sauce. And I'm going to have some rice as well. I've got chips in the air fryer as we speak. Mark's going to have shish kebab, doner kebab in pitters. And it's going to cost us nout because we already had it all in. Well, so we're having a, a quid, we're it, having a freezer dinner, aren't we? I know people slate that kebab, mate. You're free to do so. It's, but, you know, it's, it's all right, actually. If you like it, you like it. So Enjoy what you like. you're going to get from kebab shop, isn't it? Because that's where it's come from. So. Yeah, so... I'm going to crack on and get this tea. Well, I'll show you what we've cooked when we've done it. Chico, well, when I've done it. Chico's been a nuisance. Chico's not been too well lately, have you, Cheeks? No, he's had runny run runs, ain't he? You have had some very bad runs for the past few nights. And the, the reason why this sheet's on here, we came back today and he'd done a bit of a poopy, a runny poopy on the sofa. So I've had to wash all the sofa and it's a bit wet. So not his fault, bless him. Same as having a little kid, isn't it? You right, cheeks? You any better? A few moments later. Hold on, how quick was that and how cheap was that? So I've got sweet and sour chicken with boiled rice and Mark's on Donna kebab, shawarma kebab and cheesy chips. And garlic sauce. And garlic sauce. See, when you root through your cupboards or your fridge, you can always find something to eat. Right, I'm having a bit of Sally salt. Do you want anything? Just salt and lime, please. And we've lost a charger, haven't we, for the Yeah. Carcher. So the Karcher Windervac, it's dad. So we've gone to get find the charger for it and Mark can't find oh. it. So what have you done with it? I don't know, eating it probably. Mm. But what I'm going to do is, I've seen on Amazon a USB one, what I'll plug in and I can charge it on a phone charging port. So, yeah. that's, uh, so it saves having the inverter on there. So. 
You talk about me losing stuff in here. It's the smallest home we've ever had and you can still lose stuff in here. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Right, tea time. So we're going to enjoy this, get a film on, put his feet up and we'll catch you in the morning. Good morning. Morning. Back in the town. Oh God, I'm well excited. There's another street market on today on Sunday. I don't know if they're on every Sunday, but there's one on today. Like a craft market or something. Yeah, isn't it? well so excited. At least it's a bit sunny and not raining. And yeah, it's, it's lovely right today, and it? We can yeah. walk around today. Yeah. But we wanted to show you this behind us. It's called the Nutsack. No, it's not. It's called the Nutshell. All oh, right. And it's the smallest pub in Britain, as confirmed by the Guinness Book of Records. Now, I don't know whether you can see, but there you go. It's tiny, isn't it? There's the bar as you walk in. Now we've just had a look and see how, seen how big it is and it's 15 foot by 7 foot. So you haven't got a lot of room inside but in the summer they have all chairs and tables out Yeah, the yeah here, they so. do. It's actually owned and run by Green King by the looks of it. So There you go. And it's got the Green King plaque on here as well. Now Green King is big in this town because Green King Brewery is here yeah. as well isn't it? Then we like Green Kings don't we? Yeah we do because they like dogs in the pubs. Right, so they've closed the road off. Let's have a look around this um, outdoor market, Mark. Yesterday it was all foods, weren't it? Yeah, I feel like normal Saturday market now. It's a craft one, isn't it? It's looking a bit more craftified. It's busy for a Sunday, isn't it? It's oh. still Sunday morning. I think this is one of the busiest towns we've been to for a while, isn't it? Yeah, we're quite impressed, aren't we? I love it here. I think it's really nice. Like I say, a mixture of old and new. I tell you what, there's a lot of Christmas decorations and stuff for sale. It's coming guys, you can't stop it. I can't believe he's looking at Christmas decorations. What are you doing? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. What have you seen? Oh yeah, that's cute, isn't it? We've nowhere to hang it though. Oh yeah, we've seen them before. They're good, aren't they? Ah, all made out of whiskey bottles, that one there. And it's a Yorkshire Yorkshire fella as well, not far from us. Fella northerner. Just spotted a little chair for Chico, look at this. Imagine him sitting in park wheels on there. <laughs> so we've seen the smallest pub in the UK, now we're seeing the fanciest Greggs I've ever seen. It's fancy. Look at that, it's fancy smanchy isn't it? And that building's so old, it used to be a food and wine store back in the day. You, as you remember it. No, I saw it on a picture and it's it were all in black and white and they're all wearing aprons so it was definitely a long time ago but yeah. Look at that for a Greggs. Never seen one like that, have we? Not like as old as that. I mean, it looks nearly as old as you, Lisa. Oh, give yeah. it a rest. There's a lot to look at here. There in is. Bury, isn't there? Oh, look at that up there. That clock. Is it right? What time is it? Yeah, it's right. Yeah, this is one of the other main streets we didn't get to see yesterday. And we're just taking you down to a few more of the uh, historical places in Bury St Edmunds. Uh, we found out there is actually a town, isn't it? Yes. A market town. <laughs> we found out. You could have guessed it was a market town, but well, it's full of market stalls, aren't Yeah, it? but it's got a, is it a cathedral what? or is it a minster? It might be an abbot. Oh, I don't believe you found that. Ming. Hatter Street, Mark. Look what he's found, guys. Ming's Oriental. That's a restaurant, Mark, if I've ever seen one. It will be short. It's early Sunday morning. Main dishes, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's getting more expensive the more south we go, isn't it? In my honest opinion, I don't want to upset people in Suffolk, uh, Norfolk and East Anglia area, but the, the Chinese was up to press. We've only had two or three, have we? Well, we've been over this way for the last week, few weeks. Um, not very good, are they? Well, you you know more than about them than I do. Not been brilliant. No, I must admit, not very flavoursome. Is that the word? Flavoursome. Yeah, but it's all right, but not what we're used to. So. Not as good as up north. So Mark thought he'd find another one there, but it's a Thai restaurant. But it sounds really funny, the giggling squid. Yeah, yeah, giggling squid. Sounds like you'd have a right laugh in there. And then it? talk about placing shops over on this other side. You've got Pizza Express. 
Yeah. And right next to it, you've got Dolan Car. What's Dolan Car? Pizza. That's pizzas again, isn't it? I know, that's what I'm saying. And you've hardly got any shops closed here. They're all open oh, and thriving. Up, is there? No. Not really, no. There's a few what's up for lease or whatever, but not many. And I'd say there's about 12 charity shops, and I've been in every single one of them. Mm. Not got a bargain. And Oxfam's closed down here. Has it? Yeah, permanently closed, right. it says. But they've got an Oxfam like, bookstore, but the clothing bit's gone. Gutted. And it's typical of a town in the UK, and it's got all the regular shops and stuff. So No, I know. think it's higher than typical. Yeah, I yeah, think. I mean, you, you're getting all your, you, you get a lot of independent branded shops, and then you're getting your high street ones as well, aren't you? Yeah, but plus on top of all that, you've got all these historical places to go and visit. Like, we'll go and show you one. There's one right in front of me now that we're coming up to. <laughs> it looks like a lighthouse, doesn't it? It does, yeah, but there's a story behind it. Uh, there's a story behind everything in this uh, town actually, it's, there's quite a lot of legends isn't well, there? Well there's a lot of history and then a couple of days at the time we've been here we're not going to be able to show you everything. No, so, but you know. so you must come and visit, yeah. definitely. And put it in the comments if we've missed anything, what you think is worth looking at, so if anyone else wants to go and have a look, they can have a look. Yeah, right, so like I said we're on about history, we've just come off that main shopping street there, look what we've come out to. So. Look at this for, st for stunning though, absolutely gorgeous. That's the Abbey over there, I do believe. Uh -huh. This is called Abbey Gate. So I presume that's the gatehouse we're going into the Abbey. Look at the wall are all that is. Yeah, the wall behind there, that's unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? So this behind us is the oldest or first eliminated street sign and it's called the Pillar of Salt. Yeah. It's actually got the clack like a lighthouse light it on top like of it. It looks like it must shine the light back down. I wonder if it actually it. works because we've not been here at night time, know. have we? We don't no. know whether it works. What, how old is it, Mark? Nine, uh, nine, erected in 1935. No. Something a bit different, isn't it? Oh. What I want to know off you guys is why is it called Pillar of Salt? Because I've read, I've Googled it and it's not telling me. <laughs> Apparently, what I found out about this, this is the Abbey Gate. Now, the Abbey Gate you go through to get to the Abbey. I don't think the Abbey's actually still there anymore. Mark's intrigued with this, aren't you? It's massive, huge. It's a big gate to have on front of your house, isn't it? Yeah. Now, the, the story is that Edmund, who was a king in this area, I'm not, I'm not brilliant on history, he was... What are you doing? So you know what that's for, don't you? So what? It's got a fuse in it, what? To earth it, yeah. so if it gets struck... Yeah, it must be protect it, yeah. Mm. Big thick cable. Go on, sorry, you're on about Noel Edmonds. Noel Edmonds? No, I weren't. I'm on about Edmonds. So the Danes killed King Edmund here, and they actually took his head off. Now, when the, the people of this, this bury, what you used to call it, found his body, they couldn't find his head. But then they, 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 they located a wolf that was looking over Edmund's head. So now there's a big wolf here somewhere as well because when they put the head with the body, it went back onto the body. You say it fused on or something? It fused something. back on, the head true. fused Is back Is that a on. true story? Well, apparently it's in the history books, but I think it's more of a legend, isn't it? No, nothing can be proved, so... Oh, let's go, let's go find the... No, let's go and find the wolf. You've had enough of walking through the shops and you shopped out. You can come in here because it's lovely and peaceful. Yes, and it's funny how he said squirrels. It's absolutely all the room with squirrels right, in here, isn't it? Really? So they burying stuff, aren't they, for later on in the winter? I yeah, think. like you, like hoarding your food. Stuff, so yeah, this is called the Abbey Gardens. You have Bury St Edmunds Cathedral here, and there's a Bury St Edmunds Abbey. Now the Abbey no longer exists; it's in ruins. Yeah. Tell you one thing though, a lot of the trees have still got leaves, haven't they? Well, they're just starting to. Everything's a bit late. I think summer's a bit later in the year well, now, isn't it? It's been warm, hasn't it? Yeah, it's oh, not it's cold today, is it? That's the Abbey up through there, look. Yeah, that's the Abbey at ruins there. The cathedral's just there, the sun's going in, so you must not be able to see it now. I can't see it, yeah. Lovely, absolutely gorgeous. Look at these ruins. Ooh, birds everywhere. 
Yeah, here's the ruins of the Abbey. That's old, that you can tell it's a lot older. It's like the front wall, isn't it? It's got yeah. them bubbles in. <laughs> yeah, there's lots for you to come and see here at Bury St Edmunds. Really, really is fascinating. Well, it's all free, isn't it? All yeah, this is all free. It'd be lovely in the summer. Yeah, some more down there. But yeah. This is quite area. I've just found five graves. Now they were excavated in 1903, but they've been here since 1200s, and they're all Benedict monks that were buried here, all in a land. I'm not sure where they were taken to, but yeah, they were all excavated in 1903. And chips in uh, Bury St Edmunds. Not cheap. Not cheap. Regular 1350. Wow! God, you can add another 150 onto that. And that's just literally your fish and chips, isn't it? No mushy peas or anything. I'm looking for batter sausage. They might not do it down here. And get a salt and pepper squid. I'll batter the plane at 450. Wow! So your fish and chips ain't as cheap either. But we were looking for um, Chinese last night, weren't we? And they were well expensive. Yeah, we so as, as you saw, yeah, we we made our own tea, yeah. and it was rather nice, weren't it? Right. right, we've come back for Chico to get him out for his walk because it is officially bonfire night tonight. Yeah, so we won't be coming out tonight because he really has not liked them this weekend has he? The, the display in the town here was up the road when it were really loud last night it yeah it were. A bit, didn't it? I think it worried him enough that he's had the runs all night it's yeah. really scared him he's been really nervous he had the poly tummy the other day didn't he yeah it's, and it was just getting of, better weren't it yeah and he's been up all night so Aww. so yeah we've got him out for the walk and um, we want to go and find a shop but yeah Bury St Edmunds love it yeah absolutely love this place yeah but it's, Famous people, there's not that many famous people that we know are from here, is there? Who do you know? Bob Hoskins. Bob Hoskins, the actor, yeah. yeah. Now, tell me if I'm right or wrong, there's something about Ed Sheeran here. Might not have been born here, but we think he's bought a lot of properties here. So let us know in the comments below if you think Ed Sheeran comes or lives in Bury St Edmunds. Yeah. I know he bought a lot of houses, Mark, and millionaire, isn't he? I, I didn't think it were here. But... Oh, well, I'm sure someone will know out there. So, yeah, we're going to go back to the van and get us tea. And then we're moving on tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah. Yay! We're actually going to see the mattress people, aren't we? Fingers crossed. For our new bed, our new mm. mattress. So that'll be in the next vlog and we'll show you all about it and tell you what it's like. But for now, we're going to leave it here, guys. Yeah. It's been a brilliant weekend. I've loved it. It's been good here, hasn't it? Fantastic yeah. place to park up. We recommend it. Oh, that park up's amazing. Amazing. Search for sites, you'll find it. So if you've liked this video guys, please give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next adventure and we will catch you on the next one.